morning class form welcome back again to your online class so children today we are going to start a new chapter from semester 2 book that is last chapter of semester 2 book data handling in this chapter children we are going to study about tally mark pictograph and bar graph now children come to page number 156 first tally mark question Observe how many uh, cars are there, so many cars are there and different color Red, yellow, blue Now we have to write that uh, cars in telemark Now how to write in telemark See children, now count how many red cars are there How many red cars are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 red cars are there So how to write in telemark Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 If you write in this form, it will be wrong Kelima, you have to write 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 like that 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 That means 5 we have to cross in this way So red is 5 Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 In number, we will write 5 Now yellow Count the yellow How many yellow cars are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 And number 6 Now blue 1, 2, 3, 4 4 blue cars are there So 1, 2, 3, 4 In number we'll write 4 so children, you have to write telemark in this form. Now children, let us first understand what is pictograph. See children, pictograph, when the given information is represented from picture, symbols, it is called pictograph. A pictograph is usually colorful and very easy to understand. A pictograph usually has a key. The key explains the picture used. See children, when the given information is represented through picture or symbol, it is called pictograph. In pictograph, one more uh, important thing is there, that is key. Use of key. How to use the key? I will show you in my first pictograph question. First. Now children, come to page number 158. Page number 158 Example question for pictograph The data on the sport played by a student of a school is represented as a pictograph Study the pictograph and answer the question that follow Now we have to study this pictograph table and some questions are there That one we have to give answer Before that see the most important thing Key one picture is equal to 10 student that means one picture is equal to 10 student so let us count how many students are there who play football 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 pictures are there and one picture is equal to 10 students so 5 10 ja how much 50 that means 50 50 students they play football now, cricket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 and 1 picture is equal to 10 students. So, write here 10. 7, 10, yeah? 70. That means 70 is then they play cricket. Table tennis. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 into 10. 4, 10, yeah? 40. That means 40 is then they play table tennis. And lastly, Lawn tennis. How many pictures are there? One, two. Two pictures and one picture is equal to ten students. So two ten ja. Twenty. That means twenty students they play lawn tennis. Now children, some question is given. Now we have to answer that question. First question number A. Which was the most prepared sport? How many students play this sport? Among these four sports, football, cricket, table tennis, and lawn tennis, which one is the most uh, famous one, popular one? 
that is cricket and how many students they play cricket 70 so answer would be cricket 70 students now come to next question b how many students play lawn tennis lawn tennis how many students only 20 so 20 students okay now question number c how many students play football football 50 so answer will be 50 students so children two more questions is left a b c i have did now d and e is remaining which you have to practice at home Page number 158 exercise 7.1 question number one the following data shows the number of students in a school who celebrated their birthday during the month of june july august and september so we have pictograph table here month june july august september and here number of students so now we have to observe first key one picture is equal to how many students nine students that means one picture equal to nine students see here in june only one picture is there so Nine students, they celebrated their birthday in the month of June. Now, July. How many pictures are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five pictures are there. And one picture is equal to nine. So, I will write here nine. Five, nine, yeah. Forty-five. That means, forty-five students, they celebrated their birthday during the month of July. Now, I guess, one, two, three, four. Four pictures are there and one picture is equal to nine students. So four nine ja, thirty-six. Thirty-six students they celebrated their birthday during the month of August. Now September. How many pictures are there? One, two. Two pictures and one picture is equal to nine students. So two nine ja, eighteen. Eighteen students they celebrated their birthday in the month of September. Now children, some, some question is given related to this pictograph table. Now, after studying the, this pictograph table, we have to give the answer of the questions. So, first question, question number A. How many students celebrated their birthday in August? In August, how many students they celebrated their birthday? Now we have the number here, it is 36. So, answer will write here, 36 students. And now come to question number B. Which month has the most number of birthday? Most number of birthday in which month? So you can see here, 45 students they celebrated their birthday in the month of July. So answer will be July. Question number C. Which month has the less number of birthday? Less number of birthday. Only 9 students in the month of June. So, answer will be June. So, in this question also, two more questions is left. D and E, which you have to practice at home. And also, remaining two questions are there. Question number 2 and 3, that one also you have to practice at home. Thank you. Take care. I will meet you in my next class.